Hey guys, it's Barbara K thirty twelve, and in this video, uh, well, basically, welcome to um, part three of the Arsenal career mode. Just at the bottom of the screen, that as you can see, I've already jumped into the game. I will be talking over the game. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could just like read the line up at the bottom of the screen. Pause it if necessary. Um, I would roll through it, uh, roll roll through it, but I've, I've just got to. Uh, get some um, information across to you guys basically as you can tell this isn't um, live commentary and I'm not going to be able to do any live commentary anymore because um, the Roxio software that I use to record and edit my gameplay um, I found out that it delays the recording uh, from my live commentary live. my live commentary I was I was like celebrating a goal um, when when I was editing it, I was, you know, in, in my live commentary, I was celebrating a goal when um, we hadn't actually scored yet, and it was just going to take too much time to uh, be able, you know, per video to be able to do that. But can I just comment on this goal by Oxley Chamberlain? That is a fantastic strike. He did really well to get past that first player with a sliding challenge. And, um, yeah, really a good goal from Oxley in pre season as well. And we are 1 0 up against Celta Vigo. Um, so basically in the, for the future videos, um, especially like in this series, what I'll be doing is um, I'll just be doing commentary in the menus of FIFA, um, you know, like just doing squad updates and things like that. Um, but when it's in gameplay like this, when it in the match, it's just going to be no commentary for myself it's going to be Mar just Martin Tyler and Alan Smith you know basically what comes with the game okay this is just pu this is purely just a one-off and um, yeah I do apologize about it I mean I know it's not ideal for you guys um, but anyway I just I'm gonna let these take the penalty um, which you guys can tell me what happened because I have absolutely no clue what Debussy was supposed to have done and you just, I don't understand what it is, is it the arm that he has out or what? Anyway, um, I just thought I'd give a quick shout out to a YouTuber called Zach HD Gamer. Zach has been so supportive of me um, so far with, you know, with YouTube and uh, I'd, I'd really appreciate it, appreciate it if you guys could check out his channel. Um, I'll link his, uh, I'll put the link to his channel in the description of the video. Uh, so be sure to go check out his, his videos and, um, you know, like and subscribe to him too. He's, um, you know, a really cool guy. He does FIFA, he does FIFA 15 content like me. He focuses on Ultimate Team, he does a lot of squad building, but he's, like, really cool. Uh, some of his videos are, like, really interesting, so go and check them out, please. And um, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. And we've just come close there with Danny Welbeck, work it, Danny Welbeck in the ball. This is a little bit rush, guys. I'm talking a little bit quieter than usual because it is actually midnight. My dad's upstairs in bed. Um, but I just really wanted to get this video done and out of the way. And again, we were close again there with Ozil. Ozil probably should have scored that, but nevertheless, it was a good save from the Salsa Vigo goalkeeper. And from the corner, Lucas Podolski whips in, and that was almost, almost cleared off the line there. I think it's a lot more difficult to score from um, corners now than it was in 14. And uh, Theo Walcott picked up an injury, so I had to bring on uh, young Joel Campbell for him. Uh, hopefully Theo's injury, you know, isn't something that's too serious. Because he's, a, you know, he's a really key player for Arsenal, and you can tell that we've we've missed him, you know, this season as well. I think, you know, having Walcott on one wing, Sanchez on the other, well back up front, you know, that the pace up there is, you know, it's lethal. Uh, but this this game really was. I mean, you you might give up on me quite early on, and. Um, just going to measure what a good save that was from Chesney as well there. Uh, but you might feel like giving up on the video on this game quite early on. Please don't, please watch the outcome because it's something just spectacular. 
uh, yeah, two one down just before half time. That's a right kick in the face, to be honest. Um, yeah, I was definitely feeling sorry for myself. You know, going into half time, two one down after a stupid penalty, really. St you know, stupid penalty to concede. And uh, into the second half now. Can I turn this around? And there we go. 3 1 down. Awful, guys. Absolutely awful. I do apologise about it. But I promise you, if you keep watching, just keep watching the video because, I mean, my commentary isn't the best. I'm like really tired. Um, but I promise that the next video will be much better because I've got more, you know, because it'll be planned, if, if that makes sense. Like with this one, it's just fun as like, you know, I recorded the live commentary for this, but when Danny scored, it was, uh, when, no, sorry, when Ox scored, um, I was already celebrating and Ox was only just taking on the player that came in on the slide challenge. So, yeah, a bit done really. This man, you watch this guy. Keep an eye on this guy in this game, please, guys. Okay? Just coming on for Aaron Ramsey, so as you can tell, I've changed the formation around a bit, playing two up front now, um, Danny and Berahino. You're probably thinking, you know, why why didn't I bring someone like Giroud on? And there we go, 5 1 down, and I promise you guys, that is the last goal that Salta Vigo scored in this video. Some impressive stuff there from Berahino already, but he shoots and that's a great save and they just managed to scramble it here clear, but Danny Welbeck plays through Berahino and a great finish for the young man, fantastic finish for Berahino, you know it's unfortunate that he had to come into a game where we were 5-1 down, but you know I was hoping that we, he could get off to a really, really good start, but you know like with, with the team, uh, but it is only pre-season, do remember that. And um, I changed the formation completely uh, when I brought on Berahino. And a little sweaty ball again from Berahino, linking up this time with Lucas Podolski. But, you know, nevertheless, I'm going to take it. 5 3 is much, much better than, you know, 5 1 and 5 2. And here we go for the last goal of the game, unfortunately, but it's Meza Ozil that gets it. What a ball in that was to him. That was such a tasty ball into the box and Meza just Meza just like complimented it with that cheeky little slide finish. I'm just gonna show you that again. Keeper had absolutely no chance. It was low, it was quick and the placement as well, that angle Mesut did really, really well there. A great goal. And that was the end of the game, as you can see. Sado Berahino getting man of the match, even though he came off from on from the bench. I don't actually. I'm not sure if he did get man of the match, but he got the best performance anyway. Um. And uh, just an update with uh, Juba Akpom there. We've accepted an offer, a loan offer from Shrewsbury, so good luck to Cuba up and I hope he can get some game time. And uh, basically guys, I've got some transfer, like, there's something that's, that I want to do, with which I'm going to leave to you guys, okay. Um, first things first, I'm going to sell either Flamini or Arteta or both of them. I actually want to sell both of them and the two replacements are... Morgan Schneiderlin and Cheek Teote. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you guys t choose out of those four people who you want in, who you want out, out of those four. If you don't have a problem with me selling the two of them and getting the other two in, please say so in the comments below. Let me know out of those four players, who do you want in, who do you want out. Also, Derpy Ninja suggested that we sign Matter and sell Wilshire. I'm not going to sell Wilshire because Wilshire's one of the few players we've got who can play in that CPM role, uh, you know, pretty well. So that's that's the reason behind that. But I have shortlisted Matter. I'm going to save Matter in case I've got Riziki who's aging. He's probably going to be retiring soon. 
um, and in case somebody, um, like either Meza or one of the other centre attacking mids, decides that they want to leave, um, that's what I'm going to use Mata for, okay? Conceded another cheap penalty, guys. I'm going to have to really look into this. I think that when I'm um, defending, I think that I'm too, like, heavy, if that makes sense, like, with my defending. Perhaps I'm gonna have to look into it anyway. But in this game, um, I hope you guys got a good look at the lineup at the start of the game. Uh, in this game, I got um, I, I played the same formation that I ended the last game in because I thought Danny and Berahino linked up really, really well. And can you can you guys see what I'm doing with the England squad here? I mean, I haven't. Um, no, sorry, uh, I have I don't think. Jack's on his jack on. I, I really can't remember, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but can you just imagine like Barahino and Welbeck linking up like that for England? It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be some great stuff. And I hope you guys can see what I see in Barahino um, because he's been fantastic. And just wait. You just wait in this game as well. That's some good. I was just about to say that was some good defender, but then we gave it away straight away. But then again, a nice solid challenge there. It's well back now, Berahino. Back to well back. And Danny, Danny's going, Danny's going. Cheeky flick back. Cheeky turn. What a header. What a goal. The two Englishmen linking up again beautifully. I think I've just started like. It, this is definitely the start of a beautiful partnership. So what do you guys think about playing two up front? Because obviously, you know, in terms of strikers, or people who can play up front, we've got Berahino, we've got Welbeck, we've got Jeru, we've got Sanchez who can play up front, we've got um, Podolski who can play up front, so that's five players in the squad. You've arguably got Theo Walcott who could play up front. Well, let me guys, uh, let me guys know. I mean, let me know, gu uh, guys, in the in the comments below on um, what you think of you know playing two up front. Obviously, that uh, that will mean you know you know it probably won't won't work out well for the the wingers. Uh, but we've got Ox who can play in the central role anyway, so. You know, maybe the two up front can just be for for some games. Yeah, but I think I think it's something that I'm going to work with still. I'm unlucky there with a header. And well back, just sneaking. He did really well there, Danny did. Again, that was just. I mean, like, finally a penalty going our way. I mean, in my eyes, that was a red card, but he got, gets a yellow anyway, and we get a penalty. And I thought, you know, Danny won the penalty. Danny's a striker. Let's let Danny take the penalty. Let's, you know, the man's been working really hard. He made um, Berahino's goal, so I thought it was only fair that he tried to get one for himself. And what a penalty that was, he did not let me down at all with that penalty, that's a fantastic finish. In the top left corner, that deserves that celebration, that was a great penalty. Putting us 2-1 up in, um, you know, in the, in the pre-season game with Genoa. You know, it might only be pre-season, it might only be Genoa, but we tried. I'm really proud of, of the team because we, you know, we tried a new formation which is massive in a game like this and uh, anyway we went into the second half 2-1 up and I quickly skipped forward to into the second half now Danny, I brought Danny off because I decided to change it back to just one up front I wanted to see how Berahino copes on his own without Danny up there with him but you know he has got the wingers instead and uh, so I brought Alexis on now Riziki nearly fed Berahino in there, you know, he was very unlucky with that final ball and he did very well to get to where he was, you know, just unlucky with the, the fact, you know, with the final ball into the box. And uh, em Emiliano Martinez, I do struggle with that for his name, with a fantastic save that I think it was going wide, I don't think that was going in, was it? What do you guys think? I think it was hitting the post personally. 
but he just pushed it out anyway just to be safe and I like that and a goalkeeper take no risks um Riziki who like ran his little socks off all game and decided to give him a break and bring on Aaron Ramsey who we haven't really seen much of in pre-season so guys let me know um in the next game we're up against Manchester City in that community shield um so I'd like you guys to let me know who you guys want to uh you know what sort of formation to go for for starters and um who you guys want definitely playing in that match um in the three games i've given you all three goalkeepers i've given you know I've, i think i've give, given everybody a chance obviously apart from flamini and arteta who might be departing the squad by then anyway uh, but i'm gonna leave all of this down to you until the next video now I'm probably um, not going to get any recording done Friday, which is tomorrow, because uh, I'm a little bit busy. But hopefully over the weekend, part four will make its way onto YouTube for you guys. And so um, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to give you guys the whole of the whole of tomorrow to let me know on what to do in terms of the transfers that we've talked about and in terms of the lineup against Manchester City, in terms of the formation and any other suggestions that you guys have got for my squad. I do apologise about the quality of the video. I did actually record live commentary with this but I've obviously when I was editing it um, it just all went pear shaped and I found out that you know what Roxio is really like. Um, but in the next video it's going to be much better as I've explained because I'm only going to be talking in the menus so you know I can't really go wrong there um, and you know in the gameplay you, it'll let you guys enjoy the game some more anyway um, so thanks for watching if you've made it through this far don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here um, and I'll see you guys shortly